So what if he's only 10, never too young to start thinking about buying a house? Integra Bank is proud to honor Erie's bicentennial celebration with a gala float, the theme entitled Integra, a proud tradition that makes sense. See, I'm not the only one with puns. The float features displays from the current Integra Bank and two of their predecessors, Security People's Trust Company and Penn Bank. Featured is a huge Bye -bye. vault with overflowing coins and employees dancing away. Bye -bye. We've got some coins dancing down State Street. Yes, we do. The period costumes depict the beginning of Security People's Trust Company in the early 1900s. Accompanying the float are the biggest quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies you'll ever see dancing down State Street. They will be skipping and dancing to money music, such as Pennies from Heaven and We're in the Money. I just love these antique cars. Since we're celebrating 200 years of history, why not look back into our past? The Erie County Historical Society displays two cars from the Battles Museum of Rural Life in Girard. They are a 1931 LaSalle and a 1942 Cadillac, one of which we're seeing going by anyway. Owned and operated by Miss Battles of Girard. And Brandel Painting and Services takes us into the past with a fire truck from 1946. The Brandel family saying happy birthday, Erie. Say hello to Pennock Sales and Service Incorporated. Takes us into the past with two tractors. One is a tractor from 1918, the other is an original Cub Cadet from 1961, both of which are still in running condition. Pennock also salutes the survivors of Pearl Harbor, Frederick E. Buck, Lawrence E. Eller, Joseph A. Makowski, Quentin P. McRae, Anthony C. Vitelli.
protecting the freedoms of our country. This is the Military Order of the Purple Heart, an organization that combats wounded veterans awarded for the Purple Heart Medal. Their theme, the Military Order of the Purple Heart, Erie, our traditions, our pride. The Purple Heart Medal is the most revered and one of the oldest medals in the world. Founded by George Washington, it is awarded to those who were wounded in combat with the enemy, those who wear the Purple Heart Medal since it is given to only true heroes, including those who have died in combat with enemies of the United States. Let's not forget the ladies' auxiliary. Say hello to the Fairview High School marching band under the direction of Elizabeth Ritz. The band consists of students from 7th through 12th grade. This year, the drum majors are Scott Cost. Kaskoski and Teresa Kuhlman. And we've got an award winner coming up, Scott. As you can see, coming up the first place Youth Float, that's for Holy Trinity in the School of the Arts. Here is Holy Trinity Catholic School Troop 707, I believe. Let's say hello to them. And here is the float winner for youth participation, the Holy Trinity School of the Arts float. Getting ready for something exciting over here. the children of Holy Trinity School. You have to give these kids a lot of credit along with their parents and teachers and everyone involved in getting them ready for this parade. An awful lot of work, an awful lot of effort goes into each and every marching patrol and every corps and every float. And they do a wonderful job. Thanks kids. And this whole day celebrates Erie's history, of course it's 200th birthday, and we have coming up the first place historical float. From the good folks at Classy 100. And would you believe it's the USS Wolverine coming right down State Street. Many of you know the bow of the Wolverine was kept for years down by public dock. And of course, who better to captain the Wolverine but Captain Dan. We've got Captain Dan, Terry Bowen, newsman Dave, and I believe that's Joe Lang on board. The man to turn to for love songs. Good afternoon, Captain. How are you, Hello, folks? Captain. Looking good in your dress whites.
course, once summer comes around, everyone starts thinking about the Greater Erie Charity Golf Classic, the Bicentennial Charity Golf Classic, July 30th through August 1st at the Cockwa Club. And as we all know, horseshoes are more than just having shoes for horses. <laughs> the Horseshoe Club Incorporated displays the sport for all ages and proudly boasts their winners in the senior, men's, and women's state champions, along with the junior county champion. That was the Erie Horseshoe Club. And say hello to EMI Company. EMI produces iron castings for heavy construction equipment, heavy transportation, and automotive industries. It says 200 years of Erie and 115 of them, EMI has been there. Here is the International Union of Bricklayers and Allied Craftsmen, local number 28. Along with some of the instruments used in their craft. Here comes Carpenters Local 81, all part of Union Labor of Erie County, which is showing off some of the heavy equipment that was used in their trade. Building America, the Carpenters Local 81, Iron Workers Local 348, Great Lakes Building and Construction Trades Council, the PSEA and others. If I missed any, I'm sorry folks, tried to get them all in. And of course, Local 506 as well, operating out of GE, and the United Paper Workers, working out of international paper. We have Local Union Number 56, Skilled Craftsmen, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, the IBEW, wow, IBEW Local 56, National Electrical Contractors Association, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Maybe we can get some of the electrical workers on the microphones. Now coming 
past the reviewing stand some of the good folks that keep Summit Township safe. Here is the Perry Highway Hose Company displaying several antique care cars along with some of their ambulance equipment. This is quite an interesting ambulance coming up. Yeah, I think I'd rather ride in the first one than the second one. Now, can you imagine having an emergency and seeing this ambulance come to your rescue? Uh-oh. That looks like they're operating the Rattlelite up on top. And here comes the rescue.
take one that big for me to hit, Scott. The crowd here at Perry Square is settling in for a long afternoon. Beautiful weather under the big, huge flag flying at Perry Square. And approaching the reviewing stand, yet another of the many cultures that make up the diversity that is Erie, Pennsylvania. This is the Irish Cultural Society, which displays several scenes from their heritage. What would Erie be without the Irish? The Cultural Society is proud to celebrate Ireland's contribution to Erie. The James Cannell family represents all those Irish who left their beloved cottages to seek a new life in our town. Erie has had the benefit of the contributions of the Irish in their religious life, medical fields, arts, sports, as shopkeepers in politics, labor, education, in domestic life, and plain, hardworking, fun-loving citizens. Here is the Irish Cultural Society. Must be some delicious Ir Irish soda bread baking in that house with the smoke coming out of the chimney. Or the Irish stew's been on the stove too long. traditional Irish dance founded in 1984. They perform at various functions, including weddings, community functions, and assemblies. mistake about it folks. Country dancing is one of the biggest crazes in the country and here comes country countdown dancers who will demonstrate country and couples dancing. The club was formed in 1993 to promote couples and line dancing. Many members can be found practicing at local dance halls and several have even performed on national television. Let's hear it for the country countdown dancers. been such a great day in Erie, Pennsylvania with these huge helium balloons moving down State Street. Just in case you don't recognize him, here's Richie Rich, the richest kid in the world, and he's flying in the most magical jumbo jet you'll ever see. A fearless Richie Rich pilots his very own aircraft, a huge blue jet plane. The star of his very own Harvey Comics, Richie Rich, sits 22 feet high in the pilot seat. The plane is no ordinary plane at all. Richie's magical flying machine gets its liftoff from a gentle breeze and over 6,000 cubic feet of helium. And even though this jumbo jet is piloted by Richie with the greatest of ease, a well-trained team of 30 co-pilots will maneuver Richie and his plane 
from below flying him right down our parade route. Richie Rich is sponsored by the good folks at Waste Management and was created by the genius of Alfred Harvey and Richie Rich has appeared in millions of comic books throughout the world. But can he get under the lights on State Street? Oh, he's doing the limbo with the best of them. There goes his hand. Richie's giving them a challenge, but they're handling it great. I think they moved the limbo bar down. Yay! Yeah, let's hear it for them, folks. I didn't doubt it for a second. I'm the end of the route is near, folks. Stay with us. The Fairview Firemen's Relief Association is up next, proudly displaying some of their fire equipment. The Fairview Firemen's Relief and Volunteer Fire Department. When you think about the amount of people it has taken to organize this wonderful parade and keep things running so smoothly, everyone responsible should be really given a big congratulations. And I think everybody's going to be so tired tomorrow after putting it on, we may have to wait, oh, I don't know, 100 years for another parade this size. <laughs> oh, maybe 50, I'm told. We'll see. Coming past the reviewing stand now, the Top Hats Baton Corps of Albion, Pennsylvania. The Junior Baton Corps. And the seniors following right behind. The Top Hats Baton Corps was organized in 1982. The groups consist of 20 members ranging in age from five years old to 13. They are instructed by Carla Matzak and Amber Reedy. And these are both junior baton corps. The Top Hats have been honored with many awards during their years of competition. Strutting their stuff down State Street to help Erie celebrate a happy 200th birthday. Some members as young as five years old. That's quite an accomplishment. That is quite an accomplishment. It's also quite an accomplishment that we are through six divisions of Erie's Parade of the Century, welcoming the seventh division now. Does that mean it's time to turn the page? That means it's time to turn the page. And leading off Division 7, the Brig Niagara Battalion, U.S. Naval Sea Cadets Corps. Honoring the contributions of those that kept America safe on the waters.
Next we have National Fuel Gas Distribution Corporation. National Fuse Fuel's mobile customer assistance office was designed to provide company outreach to customers who are unable to visit a company location, providing information on consumer service and conservation programs. National Fuel's predecessor company, Pennsylvania Gas Company, began to serve the Erie area in 1886. The company's history closely parallels the history of the natural gas industry. Have several firsts within the company's service territory. The first gas well in 1821 and the first official gas storage equipment in 1915. And next up, the Battersby Convalescent Center float depicting the mansion of Emanuel Goodrich, a prominent bricklayer built in the late 1850s. It now houses the offices for the 115 bed rehabilitation and nursing facility. But of course, the 115 beds are in a bigger building than that. And say hello to Rebecca Neuer, Miss Teen Cambridge Springs, sponsored by Helping Hands of Cambridge Springs. And she is followed directly behind by her Marching Blue Devils Band, the band director Roy Franzaglia, drum major Kurt Foriska, and color guard major Karan Nagari. This unit is comprised of 70 students from grades 7 through 12. The band has undergone a large reorganization and has become a vital part of school life at Cambridge Springs. the Marching Blue Devils Band have participated and won honors in the Blossom Festival in Niagara Falls, Canada, and the Strawberry Festival in West Virginia as well, as well as in several parades and shows in the tri-state area. There they go, folks, the Marching Blue Devils Band. exhibit from the Pennsylvania Aquarium. Less than two years old, the aquarium hopes to take shape within the next year. The aquatic theme, Flora and Fauna of the Widespread Pennsylvania Waterways is featured on this float. All you have to do is put on your scuba gear, jump off the dock, and see some of these interesting things in Pennsylvania's waterways. Or you could go to the aquarium. And now, rolling into view, the Misery Bay Sports Car Club. Misery Bay Region is a chartered and authorized region of the Sports Car Club of America, which is based right here in Erie. Misery Bay has been in existence since 1968. Its membership is primarily drawn from Erie, Crawford, and Warren counties. Members compete in autocross and rallying, both locally and in national competitions as well. The Misery Bay Sports Car Club. Getting into formation now, going into their routine, the Majestics Baton and Drum Corps. This Baton and Drum Corps is newly formed from two area groups, the Golden Eagles and the Slippery Rock Stars. They've been competitors in local parades and baton and drum competitions, 
Now they've joined together to form an exciting new core. With over 45 members flashing new uniforms in teal and purple, the Majestics began their performances in the spring of 1995 with a blast from the past. The Majestics are a group of talented young people ranging in age from five years old to 18. The group is made up of three divisions, competitive, intermediate, and peewee. The intermediate and peewee groups do not compete, but they enjoy the excitement of a parade, and we sure enjoy watching them. Mistaken, they're performing to the tunes of the 50s, all shook up.
And representing Erie's proud tradition of having clubs all over the area, let's welcome the Erie Manicor and East Erie Turners, a continuation of the solid salute to their membership's German heritage. And the auxiliary as well. Oh, I'm sorry about that, ladies. Let's not forget. <laughs> used to be, wait a minute. Hey, we used to be their favorite station until we forgot to mention them. And let's say hello, ladies and gentlemen, to the Kearsarge Volunteer Fire Department. One of the fine volunteer departments helped keeping Mill Creek safe from fire and emergencies. possible here at the Parade of the Century. And this is the Erie Brigade marching up to the reviewing stand here in Perry Square. The Erie Brigade consists of reenactors who have recreated three regiments of the Union Army, which were recruited from northwestern Pennsylvania and the New York area. They are the 83rd, the 111th, and the 145th Pennsylvania, and are all volunteers. These three regiments were active in some of the great battles of the Civil War, namely Antietam, Chancellorsville, Gettysburg, Lookout Mountain, and the Siege of Atlanta, and many other skirmishes during their three-year enlistment. The modern day reenactors, along with their families, strive to accurately portray the life and times of that period. They furnish their own uniforms, weapons, equipment. They attend many reenactments throughout the year at some of the most famous sites of Civil War battlefields. Pride is the byword of these volunteers, proud of their ancestors, their courage, and dedication to those gallant men they pledge to keep alive their memory and their honor. And I think pride is a good word to describe our next display as well. This is Hobo Yogi and his limb, Ozine. The almost human, electronic, unique, thematic, comic, novelty car, that's what's written here, folks, is from Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. A little bit of everything on Hobo Yogi and his limousine. And look at this float from Erie Press Systems. This float features U.S. Brig Niagara, Niagara with a hydraulic press. Now there's a new twist. So if the power ever went out, they could use wind to run the press, I guess. In 1895, Erie Press Systems started building steam drop hammers and work their way to mechanical forging presses. Currently a large supplier of mechanical and hydraulic presses for the automotive industry. They are celebrating their 100th anniversary this year and planning celebration activities for the last week of September of 1995.
Drummond Bugle Corps from Lindora, Pennsylvania, coming up to join their fellow neighbors from Pennsylvania in celebrating Erie's birthday. Victoria Society is a work-study group joined together in a common interest in the time 